Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever Series 2 The Great Lakes. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Last time out, we introduced this train that's coming up right now. And uh, it was supposed to be replacing one of the Atlantic trains. And of course, it did go ahead and replace one of the Atlantic trains, the one that goes from Chicago to Buffalo. In this episode, we're going to be continuing on with the replacement of a number of trains, starting with the train that's about to appear in a few seconds' time. Uh, that's going to be a steam engine that's running from St. Louis to Philadelphia, I believe. So make sure you stay tuned for the next, um, not that train that goes across, this one right here. Make sure you stay tuned for the next 20 to 25 minutes for the replacement of that and a number of other small changes. Okay, so the first change I want to make is this one, and it's kind of important because as you can see, this doesn't look like it's too much of a problem, except for the fact that uh, for some reason, this is what's happening. And this is clearly wrong. So we're just going to go ahead and fix this by, uh, let's see. I'm going to route the trains over by putting a signal, is this going to be long enough? I'm just trying to work out if this is going to be long enough for the train that I want to fit in the block. I think it should be. So we're going to stick a signal right here and we're going to make sure that this passes through this signal. So there we go. And then we're going to pick up uh, this bright blue line. So we just need to make sure we've got that, which is this one here. And we're going to ensure that after this, it passes through, nope, come on, nope, come on. There we go, that signal. That should stop the issues on that track. But also you can see that the same problem is with the coal train. So we're going to do the exact same thing right here. Come on, there we go. So that should solve any issues that we may get with uh, any of the other trains. As a matter of fact, let's just pull these two up and have a quick look. So that's all okay now and I just don't know we, we're going to have to redo I think this is really complicated because of the amount of times it's changed uh, we're going to have to redo this and fix it all up and similarly we're going to have to redo this and fix it all up the ins and the outs aren't all too um, all too great but anyway uh, I'm going to go over to those trains that we just saw passing uh, where did we see them passing we saw them passing just here, wasn't it? There it is. Okay, so this is the train that's going to be replaced. We've already got it in the museum, so we already had it. Uh, where's the museum? Here, museum, museum. There we go. Like I'm calling the museum as if it's going to come to me. Uh, there we go. And there it goes. There's the train actually pulling into, into its platform of choice. In fact, I, I really don't know where it's going. Oh, we're going to have to make sure we stop it. That's the first thing we're going to have to make sure we do. So let's go ahead and get the replacement sorted on that. And then we'll ensure that this train actually stops. So we're going to set up the replacement. Now I asked you guys, what replacement do you want? And I got a load of suggestions of trains that you guys want to be seeing. Some of them I don't think were all too suitable, but I think other ones did give me good ideas. So we're going to go for diesel trains. Um, a number of people were asking for ones. Uh, which ones are they? Some of these GE trains so we're going to be using them uh, perhaps not for this line but I'm definitely now that I've seen that people want to see these sorts of trains up I am definitely definitely going to be using them uh, and you'll be seeing them particularly I think particularly Rock Island I think Rock Island and Burlington Northern you're definitely going to see those trains possibly hauling freight uh, so I will definitely be introducing them. So thank you for all the all the suggestions that have come about. Uh, and from that, I have decided to go with an older train, but I think it's, it deserves to be shown. And that is going to be uh, this train right here. And I'm going to be using the GP9s on in a few places. So we're going to use a GP9 right now which I think there was a suggestion for a GP9. So I'm going to be using a GP9 right now and we're going to be adding some passenger wagons and we're going to be using the, for now we're going to be using the Amfleet uh, phase, oh, should I use phase two or phase three? Ah. Uh, let's have a look at the engine again. 
Where's the engine? I've lost the engine. Uh, that's one. I can't see it too clearly, but I think... I think phase three will do the trick. Phase two may look a little bit better. In fact, no, we're going to go, we're going to use phase two. I know it's 1980 and phase three would have been slightly later, but um, you know what? I think some, you'd say in 1980, there will still be some phase two, phase two trains. So let's go for these ones uh, as opposed to these ones. Let's go for uh, Amfleet, this one, here we go. So we're going to go for five of them. So that's one, two, three, four, five of them. Uh, that's 21 passengers per coach. So that's going to be 104 passengers as opposed to the 90 passengers that we currently have. So there we go. Uh, we'll set that up for replacement. Fantastic. We'll save that to ensure that it's all, it's all okay. And now let's go ahead and make sure that we get this train in to the correct position. So this train right here. Okay, that's waiting for a free path. That's kind of good for us because that gives us an opportunity to actually see that train come in to the station for the last time. As long as I can get this train stopped very, very quickly. No time to waste. Let's move it forward. Atlantics, as you can see, are extremely prominent around this. So we'll stop it right there. Oh, it's slightly forward than what I wanted, but that's okay. Here we go, and we'll grab this, and I tell you what, we'll take a we'll take a photo of this as soon as it starts moving again. That's if this uh this train coming in doesn't get in our way, which I think it may. Okay, good. Right. Let's take a picture of this train as it starts moving. It's moving. Gets a little bit closer. A little bit closer. That'll do. Okay, so let's watch this train on its final journey. It is being replaced, right? Yeah, it's being replaced. And then we'll join it uh, out for a quick run and we'll see exactly where it goes and how it, how it performs. We'll have to see how this how this train performs. Of course, another one that's going to be up for replacement are these. These are up for replacement too. Oh, that's loud. That's really loud. Okay, imagine just sitting uh, around here. Watching the train come in. Fancy! And that's the end of that train. to be replaced by... There it goes. All right, let's see what this train sounds like too. Right. Anytime now. It would be nice for it to, for it to actually move, uh, move off. There it comes. Or here it comes, should I say. Oh, it's just a standard, standard hoot. Or standard horn. Standard air horn, standard blast, whatever it call it. Okay, well that doesn't look too bad, you know. Just want to get another, another kind of good look at it. Auto save. Thank you. Wrong time. Wrong time, I'm afraid. That really is not bad at all. Uh, hmm, interesting. Okay, well, let's follow it along. Now that it's gone. We'll see what kind of passengers it takes, uh, what kind of speed it does. At the moment it's doing 42 miles per hour, which isn't too bad at all. Could be better. But uh, you never know. It could pick up. It, it, I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's running better than the, uh, better than the previous version of this train. In fact, I'm almost 100% certain of that because um, clearly it's it's picking up a decent amount of speed. It's not the fastest train, I will admit, but it 
it, in a sense, I'm trying to keep the trains a little bit slower. For, for content sake, obviously I would rather that these trains were all doing around 190 to 100 miles per hour. But it's also for, for the sake of commuter versus express trains, that also would be something that I have to factor in. Okay, this going into coming into uh, Buffalo, uh, Cleveland Station, sorry, the Lakefront Station, which I incidentally managed to put in the right place. So we've got one of those trains as well, which is the Philadelphia Madison one, which is waiting stuck in traffic for something. Got the old Pennsylvania trains. That's a really old livery on that one. We can hear a steam engine coming in. Who are you? I just realised who that is. Hang on a second. You are about to be replaced, aren't you? You are. That was your last run. I need to get a decent-ish picture of this. This is going to be difficult. I should have I should have checked beforehand as to what was about to happen. Well, on the plus side, you can't say that uh, I plan all my episodes out and everything's pre-scripted because I didn't know that would happen if it did, or if I did, I would have uh, I would have tried that a lot better. I would have tried to get that correct. Okay, so now the next stop is Washington. Suppose we could get rid of this and just follow it along really nicely. I was going to wait for that one to go through. Look at that, there's another one coming this way. So Amtrak is starting to essentially appear everywhere. Which I mean is pretty good. You know, from a distance, that GP40-2 sounds okay. Yeah, that really sounds okay from a distance. It's just when it goes into this full tilt, or, or you know, full power mode, it starts sounding a little bit... Well, odd, I guess. I do wish this one had better sounds. Um, I, I, I do find myself wishing that that was the case. Also, I wonder if this train has uh, red lights at the back of it. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, wait a minute. That sounds a little bit different. I wonder if there's been an update to that. I know the other one's already gone, but I kind of just want to listen to this train. It's going to obviously go into full, full tilt. That was a different train, that's why it sounds different. Well done, me. Yeah, well done, me. That was a completely different train. Okay. Also, I can't help but feel something about this train has me feeling like it should be pointing in the opposite direction. I just, I just don't know what it is. It's something about this part of the cab that just makes me feel like this train is backwards. Is it backwards? I mean, I know a lot of these trains can go in two directions. I guess it isn't backwards. Or is it? Oh, who knows? Who knows anymore? Still, decentish speed, 57 miles per hour. So I'm quite happy with that speed. Sixty miles per hour, that's not bad at all. So let's see, 65 is its top speed, so I'm hoping it reaches 65 miles per hour. That's basically what I'm watching this for. Still 60? Hmm. 
Maybe, maybe I've bitten off a little bit more than I can chew with this engine. This locomotive may not be... Oh no, here we go. I guess that pill section just got it a little bit. Now, is this going to remain clear? Please remain clear. Oh, I, I do need to fix that little bit. Uh, that little bit of track is a bit bumpy. Just a bit. And now we're coming into the, the Pennsylvania approach, as I, as I like to call it. This is the Pennsylvania approach where trains generally get stuck in traffic and have to slow down at some point. It always happens, or it happens on many occasions. So it's not always because we have been trying to improve the flow of the network, but it, it can happen on a number of occasions. So it may happen to this train. It may not, but it may. And there's no train coming this way at present, but you will see trains coming this way, I'm sure, in probably a moment. We saw one going past, I'm sure you'll see another. In fact, here comes another. You can just see the trains underneath too. How awesome does that look? That looks really awesome. We've got two of them. So there's one coming across there, the two going across there. I'm sure there's probably a third coming. There we go, there's a third going this way. There's that oil train over there that comes in from St. Louis. The freight train I don't know where it's gone we seem to be clear into into Washington at this point because I think that signal is a clearance into Washington no no this signal here is a clearance into Washington so yeah we are we're now clear it right up into the Washington area uh, or should I say that signal is never mind I just forgot that I put that signal there never mind just uh, everything I said was a lie here we go So into Washington, Union Station we go. Which is pretty neat. Slows down. I think that actually did a really good job. Who are you? Oh, you're the same one. You're carrying zero passengers. That's a problem. Okay, there we go. There's a stop. So he's going to just have to stop to get into that platform now. At this point in time, I am going to pause this because I've just realized we could probably replace this train too. Now, I know this is a Pennsylvania train and I had a, a number of people say that we should replace some train with um, one of these Scepter trains. Um, I'm, not, I'm not too keen on this. See, I just don't know what these Scepter, what, what does this mean? Uh, Pennsylvania Transit Authority and then I don't know what the SE is so I'm not sure if that's modern as a matter of fact I'm going to check it right now on my phone uh, whilst I'm on, on the video so again not planned uh, I want to find out what scepter what scepter trains are and do they still run that's a, that's the thing does this company still exist uh, scepter regional rail Oh yeah, okay, they, they still run. It looks like they're owned by Amtrak now. But uh, okay, if they still run, I am happy to swap these current ones out, which are running old Pennsylvania Railroad MP, uh, MP54 power cars with, uh, let's see. Are there any Scepter trains that we can use? No. Nothing? Ooh, ooh. Stop. Stop. Eh. It's horrible. Uh, no. What on earth is that? What on earth? Okay. Let's have a look at some electric trains that we've got. Any power cars we could use? No. Diesel power cars that we could use that may match what we want just want a nice simple commuter train nothing fancy nothing too quick no okay so it looks like the choice is we're going to get a sept train but unfortunately it is going to be a little bit old and the train we're going to be using is that one I mean it's 1965 so it's not really as old as some of these although that's 1968 uh, so it's really 15 years old, which really, I mean, we've got trains in London that were running for, since the 1960s. 
So, you know, until until a few years ago. So these these trains are 40 years, look, 50 years in them. Easy. So we'll go ahead and add. Uh, so how does this, right, how does this work? Hold on. MP54 power car MP and P54 passenger car. Got it. So we'll use one power car like that. And we will use the scepter. Please tell me they're there. There you go. One, two. Uh, we've got two currently. Carries 18, 18, 18. I think I'll add a third. We'll make this slightly longer. And we'll go for a replace now. There we go. And so now we're going to join this on, a, on its final journey. And what I'm hoping is that it changes and as that train comes this way we'll be able to catch both trains together that's my plan so this is 65 years and you know what i'm going to do i'm actually going to send this train i'm actually going to get this train uh sent out into the museum line because otherwise we're going to be in a lot of trouble oh i need to i need to electrify these lines Okay, which part of the lines are electrified? That part is. We need to electrify an, uh, a huge amount of this line. Come on. There we go. Okay. Guess we just electrify. Let's electrify the end section. Yep. So we'll stick a few electric trains down that section. Is that electrified? That's electrified a significant amount. That's impressive. That's really impressive. I'm not sure how it did it, but it did it. Four buildings will be removed. I, I guess that's just electrified the entire... Oh, rubbish. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our trains here. So we're going for the electric train, which is going to be one of them, and we're going for passenger cars, and we're going for two of them and we're going to set them on okay here we go new line uh, museum line so it's going to be white doing this nice and quickly as we're out of time um, we're going to go for M and this is going to be the what's it called currently what routes it's on Washington Philadelphia so Washington Philadelphia and what year did it run from it's 65 years old so we're looking for 19 what 1915 1915 over to ooh, 1980 1915 to 1980 double check to make sure that actually is uh, is going to be 65 years and uh, I think that would be because up to 1975 would be 50 years so that, oh that's oops well done no that's right no that would be 60 years there we go 65 years well done, brain. Right, uh, and then we'll go ahead and do the exact same thing as we always do, except this time, because it's an electric train, we're going to stuff it into one of these. Um, oh, we can't do that. Ah, we can't do that. Um, right. That's going to be a problem. How do I... Yeah, okay, remove all stations. Do that one. But... That one. I, I hope this manages to go through where I want it to go. Uh, and we're going to pass through... So, we're going, we're going to have it pass through... What's going on? There we go. Good. Okay. Let's hope this actually goes out and runs where it needs to run. It doesn't want to go. Okay, well, we'll sort this out in a bit. We've got the train ready. So what we're going to do to end this episode off is we're going to have a look at this train. We'll fast forward a little bit. Don't need to be watching this all the way, do we? Right, now I'm hoping we catch it on the way back. Please replace. There we go. That does look actually pretty good. Southeastern. Southeastern Pennsylvania Railroad Authority. There we go. All right, so now the key is catching it at the right time. Please don't catch it in the tunnel. 
It's going to catch it in the tunnel, isn't it? No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Because I'm going to catch it just as it comes out the tunnel. Like that. Oh, that's a rubbish picture. Why would it do this to me? Actually, it's not too bad a picture. It's kind of a... Hey, look, have a look at this. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports Fever Series 2, The Great Lakes, and then Series 3, The Great Western Railway. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think, and don't forget to support me on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would help me out a huge, huge amount. Um... Also, you can follow me on Twitch if you're not watching this on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ecgadget, and find me on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. That is all from me, and I'll see you guys next time in Transports Fever Series 2, The Great Lakes.